In today's class, we'll be talking about six English idioms that you need to get familiar with and use them as often as possible. Hi everyone, I'm Oyin Dalara, and on this channel, I teach everything English. I tell my students that idioms are figurative expressions that had colors to speech. The first idiom that we're going to be talking about in this class today is bend over backwards. Did I hear you say bend over backwards? Oh, amazing. It means to make every effort to achieve something in a fair and helpful way. It means you don't bring anybody down in a bid to achieve something or in a bid to achieve something. Your achievement is going to be a plus to another person. Number one example, I learned from my dad to bend over backwards to help those that I need. Number two, it is expedient as a student to bend over backwards in achieving your dream. Number three example, I will always ensure I bend over backwards in playing my motherly roles in the life of my children. Number two idiom, burning candles at both ends. Did I hear you say burning candles at both ends? Oh, good job. Burning candles at both ends means to do more than one ought to do. That is to overstretch oneself. Number one example, my uncle's daughter said his illness was burdened by stress and recommended that he stops burning candles at both ends. Number two example, as a student, you need to start reading as early as possible as burning candles at both ends will tell on your delivery in exam. Number three idiom, go into overdrive. Did I hear you say go into overdrive? Oh, well done. To go into overdrive means to begin to work very hard, to perform intensely or very well. Number one example, when the publishing deadline was moved up a week, we had to go into overdrive to get all the articles together. Number two example, I had to go into overdrive in order to achieve my set goal for the year. Number three example, as a student, you have to go into overdrive in order to ace your examinations. Number four idiom, jump through oops. Did I hear you say jump through oops? Oh, good. It means to go through an elaborate or complicated procedure in order to achieve an objective. Number one example. We had to jump through a lot of hoops in order to get funding for the workshop. Nobody gives away money without making you work for it. Number two example, success in life requires you jumping through hoops to achieve your desired goal as nothing good comes easy. Number five idiom, make a comeback. Did I hear you say make a comeback? Oh, good. It means to achieve success after retirement or failure. Number one example, the boxer expressed his confidence that he will make his comeback after undergoing a surgery for his injury. Number two example, the students promised to make a comeback after finding out they failed English in their last examination. Number three example, failure in life is not the end of the world, but be sure to make a comeback. The last idiom for this video, to work your fingers to the bone. Did I hear you say to work your fingers to the bone? Oh, fantastic. And it means to work very hard, to work very hard. For example, the teacher had to work her fingers to the bone in order to prepare the students for the forthcoming examination. Number two example, as a student of English, you have to work your fingers to the bone in order to keep yourself abreast of your career. I hope you got all these idioms correctly and I hope you got the meanings. So now, I expect you to use this idiom as a mantra this year because you don't want to be left behind. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have learned something. If you have, do well to subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Turn on your notification because there's more to this that you're going to get on this channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you think in the comment section. 
and share until i see you in my next one bye